Hello and welcome to You So You. My name's Zoe and this is my channel all about the crafty bits and pieces I get up to. I knit and I sew, I weave, I dab in all sorts of bits and pieces, whatever takes my fancy really. And this is my series about how I've made the Queen's Gambit dress. Welcome, welcome back to any returning viewers and to any new viewers a very warm welcome to you. This is my fourth and final video in my series showing how I've made the Queen's Gambit dress. This one that's been taking over the internet. Um, I'm obviously not the only person who's made it but this, these videos have gone through my process of how I've drafted the, the pattern and, and sewn it up. So if you've missed the earlier stages of the process they'll be linked into the, play, the Queen's Gambit playlist somewhere around my, my head wherever YouTube puts it. And if you'd like to see more content from me, so tutorials, catch-ups, knitting, sewing, weaving, spinning, all sorts of stuff, feel free to like and subscribe and, and ding that notification down below, just like all the YouTubers tell you. And uh, then you'll know when I next put something up. But in the meantime, the dress has been hanging overnight so that the hem can drop, because if we don't do that on a circle skirt, you're likely to have a wonky hem and we don't want wonky hems. It's just not very elegant. So if that needs doing, then we'll give the dress its final press and I'll show you what the finished garment looks like. So put your feet up, grab a brew and let's get sewing. So that's the dress finished. Um, I've, as I say, drafted the bodice from the Sirocco bodice from by Deer and Doe, and I've self-drafted the circle skirt. And details of how I've done that are in the previous videos, so uh, check out those in the playlist if you haven't already. Um, now, I am happy with the end result, but there are a few things that I would do differently were I to do it again. Um, one is to do with the zip. Um, I would actually think about putting it in the back. Um, I like side zips, but I'm not sure it's best for this dress. The alternative is, actually one thing I do need to do, regardless of whether I move the zip or not, is actually move the side seams on the bodice a little bit further forwards. Um, I've had issues lining up the side, zip, side seam on the skirt and the bodice because the, the side seams on the bodice are just a little bit further back than they should. So that hasn't lined up exactly how I'd like it to. The reason for moving the zip would be more to do with um, the ease of attaching the skirt to the bodice because in the, the back I could actually do a zip just down the bodice and not into the skirt which means I could then completely put the skirt together before I attach it to the bodice which would be slightly easier than the shenanigans I had getting this skirt on. Um, but overall I am happy with it. The pattern matching isn't perfect. It's pretty good on the right side seam on the the skirt is actually pretty flawless there, and it's only fractionally out on most of the other seams. Let's not even talk about the left seam on the skirt, but uh, these things happen. Um, Fit-wise, generally everything's worked out well. Um, I probably should have done a full twirl um, of the bodice in particular and, and stitched up the, the side seams or, or closed the side seams somehow, because once I put everything together, I found that it's excess fabric sort of just under the armpits. So I put some darts in there after everything was together to, to sort that out, which is not perfect, but it's fine. Uh, it's wearable and no one's really going to notice, they're under my arms, it's fine. 
Um, so yes, overall I am really, really pleased. And I think it would look great in a, a solid fabric as well as in the tartan. So that's something to, to bear in mind for the future. Um, and of course I'm now going to have to do a nice blouse to go underneath um, to finish off the, the look, as I don't have one of those at the moment. Um, in the, the series she does wear that fabulous white, wide-collared V open blouse underneath. Something like that would be great. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yes, overall I am really pleased. Um, one more comment on the skirt actually. The lining up of the pattern matching on the side seams is a little bit more obvious because of the way that I put the pattern piece on the fabric. Um, it's meant that the tartan runs diagonally across the front and the back of the skirt and straight around the sides. Whereas if you look at the one in the series, the lines run front across, run straight across the front and curve up at the sides. So if I'd have shifted the pattern piece round slightly, so that the red lines run round directly up and down the skirt, um, lining up with the the one that's on the bodice, then that would actually have have created that look and disguised some of the pattern matching um, flaws a little bit more. Um, but that's fine, I don't mind it being diagonal across the front. Uh, it's just something to bear in mind should I do it again. Um, but yeah, overall I'm really pleased. I've really enjoyed actually recreating uh, the garment from, from a series. I've not done that before, um, but I think I'm going to do it again. So let me know down below if there's uh, anything that you think I should try and replicate. Because um, I'm open to suggestions. To, uh, and we'll, we'll see where we go from there. Um, so I hope you found the series useful and interesting. Um, I am as hoping to do more of this kind of thing uh, in the future throughout the year. Um, not so much from patterns that I've bought, I mean, possibly from the, the big commercial brands, but certainly not from the indies, as there's already a lot of stuff out there from, from the designers to, to do that. But if I'm adapting something or drafting it myself, then I'll, I'll do more of these series. Um, moving forward as we go through the channel um so yeah that's uh, all we've got to say on this dress really i can see it getting a fair bit of work so i can wear it to the office i can wear it with jumpers underneath and yeah overall i'm really pleased so until next time have a, a good week or so until i get my next video up and i will see you soon bye bye for now <laughs>